Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and what I've done here is opened up uh, the page where we can find the exam guide outline. So if you type in SC900 certification, it should bring you to this page. You scroll on down to your skills measured, and you download the outline. Now, at the top of these documents, this is a very new certification. It's not even a year old uh, from the time I'm making this, but it's, a lot of times you'll see red text in this document at the top. It'll say, there has been changes. And it scares people because they think that maybe the course is out, out of date, but I'm gonna tell you that unless they change the number here, unless it becomes the SC901 or 902, uh, this course is gonna be mostly relevant, okay? Because they're only ever making minute changes. They're never gonna change huge sections of a course. If they do, then they're gonna update the numbers. So that's how you know whether my course is uh, still relevant or not, okay? Is whether the course number changes, not if there's red text. Uh, but going down below here, uh, we'll just quickly uh, go through some of these sections and some of the thoughts I have about this course. So we have the zero trust methodology is the first thing they want you to learn. Zero trust model is super important. It's the foundation of this entire course and ties over to Azure Active Directory. So you're definitely going to uh, know that inside and out. The shared responsibility model, which we covered in the AZ-900, nothing has changed there. Defense in depth, that's like a seven layer thing, not super important. Common threats, which are going to lay the foundation for some other services. Um, encryption, which is pretty straightforward. Stuff we covered in the AZ-104. Um, the Microsoft Privacy Principles. This is a bit confusing because they have two different pages, but I cover both of them here so you know both of them. The Service Trust Portal, where we can download audit reports. Uh, so that's a very simple thing there. Primary security perimeter. This is a concept of the, um, the zero trust model. Really should be up in the top section there. Author authentication, authorization, IPD, so identity providers. Think Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, Twitter. Uh, Active Directory, which is a huge component of this course. Federated services, identity attacks. Uh, and so then we have... Um, and notice here it says service identities for Azure AD, capabilities of Azure AD, management capabilities of Azure AD, identity protection and governance capabilities of Azure AD. Uh, so there's a lot of Azure AD stuff. A good chunk of this is actually covered in the AZ-104. So if you're taking that uh, as your natural path, like basically like half of this, at least half of this is is actually the content's coming from there, okay? Uh, so that's gonna be uh, really great for you. Uh, going down below here, um, now we're into uh, Microsoft capability. I guess it still says Azure. So NSGs, DDoS, Azure Firewall, Bastion, Web Application Firewall, Azure uh, Azure Encryption Data. A lot of this covered, again, in the AZ-104. So it was very easy, me, uh, easy for me to bring this over. Simplified it more to a business use case for you, okay? The Azure Security Center, Azure Security Score, um, Azure Defender, uh, cloud security posture management. And there's a lot of these terms, uh, uh, like a lot of initialisms, and we go thoroughly through them in the uh, primer. I actually uh, squeezed in a primer, in, uh, a security primer in the front of this course because uh, they just lack a lot of that information to uh, help you understand the stuff. And so I just did that to uh, round out the entire course overall. So you have Azure Sentinel where you have SIEM, SOARs, and XDRs. Um, then there's Microsoft 365 Defender, and there's a lot of stuff with Defender because there's Azure Defender and 365 Defender, and there's all these subservices. There's an unbelievable amount of stuff in here. So Identity, Office 365, Endpoints, um, Cloud App Security. Uh, then you have the uh, Microsoft 365 Security Center. So you have a security score there, reports, dashboards, things like that. That's actually how you access Azure, um, Azure Defenders through the M365, or sorry, through the um, uh, Security Center, um, and then through uh, um, at M365 Defender, it's through, uh, well, actually, you just go to the security panel. That's how you get to it. You have Microsoft Intune. That's for managing remote devices. That's part of um, Microsoft Endpoint Manager, uh, so you can uh, remotely control or, or um, uh, have security over devices, tablets, and computers. Then we have here um, uh, the Microsoft Compliance Solution. So there's the Microsoft um, or M365 Compliance Center, and there's a ton of stuff in this course, like tons and tons. I would say like a good quarter of this entire, well, it says 25% here, but 25% of the course is all about the Compliance Center. There's tons of stuff in here for that. Uh, and actually that's the end of the course. So yeah, it's mostly Azure AD and the Compliance Center, a handful of Azure uh, services and a bunch of uh, marketing resources, okay? So there you go.